So you will recognise that, uh, that very familiar face on your screen now and it kind of caused me only one thing, that uh, George Alakobi, our club captain, is going to be back for the 21-22 season. Uh, George, we're thrilled to have you back again. How are you feeling about the new deal? I'm absolutely delighted um, to get this over the line um, and I can't wait, I can't wait to get going. Um, it's, been, it's been a long time since we've kicked football competitive here at, at the Gallagher and um, I'm looking forward to to having another season on my belt here yeah, and leading this fantastic football club. Now, of course, the first two seasons here, um, both been dogged by COVID in, in one way or another. I guess like, like the fans, like the management, like the, the rest of your teammates, you're just uh, hoping and praying that this time we start in August and we finish in one piece in, uh, in early May. Yeah, definitely. Um, when you begin a season, you want to finish. You want to finish the season properly. And it's been unfortunate um, with the COVID situation um, that the last two seasons has been cut short and prematurely. And um, hopefully when we start in, in August this season, um, we can finish in May, definitely. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping and fingers crossed. Of course, uh, we've announced some names previously. Uh, some experienced heads in there, but some, some young ones as well that hopefully will benefit being in around the dressing room with, uh, with you there to, to provide that guide in hand as and when it's needed. Yeah, definitely. It's always good to, to have that blend um, in, in the changing room of, of young and um, not so old and I call myself old <laughs> now, but um, it's always good to have that old head, the old heads in, in the changing room, the experienced players there to help, not just myself, there's other experienced players in the changing room to help the younger players and we're always going to be there to, to lend them that hand and lend them that knowledge and experience um, to, for them to try and develop. And the certain responsibility that comes I would be in club captain as well, but it's obviously a role that you're just a, a natural for. How, you know, how important do you see that role, not just amongst your teammates, but amongst the, uh, the supporters as well? It's a very, very um, unique role. Um, a lot of people think it's just being on the football pitch, leading the, the team on the football pitch. Um, but it's, not, it's more to it than that. Um, it's, it's about off it as well, um, the interactions with, with the fans but also around the community to make sure you lead by example. Um, but then when it comes to the, the business side of things on the football pitch, um, you take care of business, you lead by example, but at the same time you, you aid your team and, and try to, to help, help, help the team as, as best as you can as a leader out there to, to, for the team to pick up three points. So it's, very, very, it's, 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 a, it's a top, it's a, it's a good role, but it comes with a lot of responsibilities. Now, of course, in, in season one, when you were here, uh, you got to, to meet the fans and I think many of the, uh, you know, some of the classic photos from your first season is you getting in amongst them. We didn't have that last year. How much are you looking forward to seeing them back on the terraces and in their seats come August? Oh, very much, very much looking forward, forward to, to the fans, having the fans back or in some capacity, um, depending on, on what the government decides to do. Um, but it would be lovely to, to have the fans back and try to to have that feel good factor with them again and obviously I know we can't hug, we can't touch at the moment but hopefully there will be, there will be that closeness and that connection to, to, to get, them, get them happy again and get into, get into that energy, the positive energy that I bring um, obviously transpire in, onto the fans and um, it's all about having that feel good factor again in and around the stadium. Um, we, we, we missed them a lot last season but um, hopefully this season we'll have, we'll have the fans back. Now, anyone that follows your Instagram profile, there's quite a few, having uh, checked out the stats quite recently, quite a few of them, uh, will know that when last season abruptly ended in mid-February, you didn't think to yourself, OK, let's, uh, let's take some time out, take two, three, four months out and then get back into it May, June time. Um, you probably you haven't stopped really, have you? Let's be fair. No, um, I don't stop, to be honest. Um, it's about... It's about Continuities about having the right balance, um, which which over the years I've I've grown to understand and and you know reassess the way I train and how I look after my body, and I tend to have the right balance and I haven't stopped. Um, it's it's important for me. Um, it's not affected me the last the last four or five seasons. Um, so um, long may it continue, and I go by listening to my body and communication through to. To the coaching staff, how I feel on, on a daily basis, um, and and I just you know list, listen as much to my body. It's, it's very important after games as well. If I need an extra recovery time, then I 
communicate directly with, with the management team and the medical the medical team and we go from there but this is haven't stopped and um, hopefully I'll just carry on as, as where I ended off in, in February and that's, that's how I've done it and um, it's not done me any harm yet and I'm looking forward to when we get back into pre-season and keep on from there. So when they do those uh, early shuttle runs you're still going to be uh, <laughs> still <laughs> leading by example top ahead of that queue. Yeah, sure. um, of course as you did last season you're continuing this season having that important role in the in the academy and that's not just the coaching side as well it's really you know forming what kind of moment are really young men aren't they into into adults and and giving them that guidance really that uh, they need to make it um, be that in the professional game or even the semi-professional game um, again how pleased are you to be continuing that role here at Maidstone United it's very pleasing to know um, the work I've been doing with, with the academy, not just myself, that comes with, with Billy, with Billy Johnson and Brad Brooker. Um, what we've been doing with, with the academy has been, has been really good and that shows it when, when obviously the owners offered, offered, offered me an extension um, as a reward for, for all the hard work. Um, but you know, it's not just coaching players, it's coaching young men, which is, which is so important. And, and I see it as a role that is, is much more more than um, coaching on the football pitch. It's about mentoring young men about their, their daily lives and it's so important that they understand it's not just on the football pitch but also off the football pitch. And to be honest, I kind of think of them as, as you know, I'm their coach, I'm their friend, I'm their mentor. At the same time, I'm their big brother where they can, there's always that door is always open for an open conversation. And if I can help them in any way, in any, difficulties they find themselves in then I can I can lend them that experience and, and some knowledge to, to help find a solution to whatever problems they've got. Um, so it's not just um, being on the football pitch, it's, it's more than that. It's off it to me more more than more than that because this these young men are, are the future of, of our tomorrow. Um, so if they can get it right on the football pitch and off it then we got we got a better chance as society where they can go into and feel confident about themselves. Well, George, you've had a fantastic influence on the club in the first two seasons and uh, long may that continue. Welcome back and have a great season with us. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Let's go.